everybody. Thanks again for joining us for our plant walkthrough. We, uh, this is actually gonna be our final installment. I'm standing now on what we call the finishing plant. We did finish up with the rough end plant, which used to be the actual multi-facility only plant 937. What we're standing in now is plant nine, the old plant 923, which used to be the single wide facility, which a few years ago, we changed into what we now call the finishing plant. So what we do is we kind of build the house over in the other facility and we take that rough product and we bring it over here into the finishing plant where we do the trim, the final finish, the cleaning, the appliances, the carpet, all those type things. Um, we only use half of this facility for the finishing plant. The other half of this facility you can see back in here, we use mainly for storage. We keep about a week's worth of materials on hand at all times to try to complete our production. And with this year, as everybody knows, that's been a little bit of a challenge. But you can see all the different stuff and all the different materials that we keep over here. And you can kind of see the line and, and how these things go. So what we're gonna talk about today, what goes on over here again, uh, finish, final finish, trim, appliances, um, cleaning. And we actually do finish up the shingles over here as well now. But why don't, uh, go ahead and take a little bit of time. And now you can walk with me and Blake as we go through the finishing plan. Thank you. What you're just seeing now is over there, that's a rough end plant. You know, I mentioned that a minute ago. And what we do over there is we really, we build the house, the construction of the house. Um, and then we take that house and we pull it out here. And then we back it into this facility here, which again was the old single wide facility. We back it in for all the finishing and all the touches, all the final touches here, tests, et cetera, et cetera. So come on with us now. We're gonna go up here and kind of start looking at some trim, some final finishes, and Hey everybody, thank you John for that introduction. So we're standing in the very first part of the final finish section here at the plant. We're in the trim department. And so to give you, we've talked a lot about streamlining and you may ask yourself, why are we streamlining during this time and whatnot? So what I wanna show you is all the different types of trim that our trimmers have to work with and all this stuff. So here we have, this right here is just a, a flat band. You're used to seeing those on the walls there. You have inch trim here that sometimes we put that around doors and windows. Here you have upgraded window casings, the deluxe door trim there. Here you have the three inch trim that we're using as well, both like tubs and showers. And then you also have the crown here that we're using as well. So the reason we're wanting to streamline to make this easier. So what our trim people do, they'll get this print here. You've probably seen this, this is a Wilkes print here. So this house, as you can see, there's not a lot of changes to it. So what in a, at a good time, when they're able to describe the print and they're able to look at their cut sheet on that house and they're able to go ahead and make their cut sheet. So as you can see here, they've already got all their cuts made on this house here. They've got their sheet ready to go. So when you add in a special print that changes the room sizes and window size and all that stuff, they have to go through and they have to redo all this stuff. So it takes time for them to come back and do a new cut sheet instead of just grabbing a 37S112 and just grabbing the cut sheet for it. Now they all of a sudden they'd have to grab a 37S112-Smith and it may change everything on the house. So it takes them 30 extra minutes just to put together their cut list. So as you can see here, we're just gonna pan out and show all, all these different bays right here, all the different types of battens, trim, box door casings, crown, and all the stuff they have to work with. The, so the process is, is they'll get their cut sheet and they'll come through and they'll grab what trim they need. The cut person will start making the cuts and then over here, you can see these bundles where they had the tape over there. That's where they've already made the cut. So that way the trimmers, when the house gets ready to be trimmed, they grab that, it'll say primary bedroom. They can grab primary bedroom, put it in there, and the people that hang the trim, they'll grab it, they'll cut it open, and they'll start making, hanging their trim in that house. Here you can see the finished trim process. All the trim around the door, windows, top trim and floor trim have all been completed. Another Clayton built standard here is the quick set locking system. Every home will have the storm door on, on the front and the cottage door on the back. Here you can also see the cordless two inch mini blinds. This home is not far from completion and ready for its newest homeowner. For over 40 years, Shaw has been noted for exceptional quality and products. Your carpet isn't just what under your feet when you walk around. It's where your pets sprawl out after a long day of play. It's where your kids start to crawl, and it's the perfect spot for game night. When we build our manufactured homes, we hold ourselves to the Clayton Build Standard. That means we partner with some of the world's leading home building brands to ensure your home is equipped 
with its sustainable, long-lasting, and innovative products. And while being the best is important to us, having the best should also be important to you. Using quality materials to build your home means that home is not only beautiful, but durable as well. With carpet from Shaw Floors, you can rest assured the carpet fiber is treated with Shaw's R2X stain and soil resistance for added repellency. This means you have more time to clean up. Enjoy the peace of mind you'll receive from knowing you won't have to worry about struggling to get those stubborn stains out. At Clayton, we believe what makes it just a house different from home sweet home is all the little details, like your kitchen and bathroom faucets that shape a home into the perfect place for you and your family. Since 1910, Pfister has been a leader in quality plumbing products that combine style and durability, which makes it a perfect fit for the Clayton built home. Pfister faucets are built using metal parts, the ones you can see and even most of the ones you can't, for the perfect combination of beauty and durability. Now that's something we can definitely get behind. All of Pfister faucets are backed by the forever warranty, which covers the finish and function of the faucet as long as your homeowners own the home. No matter the specific style of faucets, you can focus on enjoying your space for years to come with less to worry about. A Clayton-built home and Frigidaire appliances are backed by over 100 years of careful craftsmanship. You'll be glad to know Frigidaire appliances are designed to help make your everyday life feel more manageable with features like ovens that preheat in less than six minutes. They also offer premium smudge-proof finishes with a protective coating that resists fingerprints. It's all about spending less time on cleanup so you can spend more time making memories with those who matter the most. So everybody, that takes us pretty much through the entire plant, both the rough end and the uh, finishing plant over here. One thing you noticed over here on the multi-sections was that they're already split apart when they come over here. We only build them together over the rough end plant. They are split apart and brought over here. So this is the final, uh, final finish, the actual final uh, area for the plant. And what we do here is we clean it up, it gets inspected, they uh, install the appliances, which you can see, they get it ready for shipping, and then it goes out the door. Once it goes out the door, if it's got any rework, write-ups, it goes to the left or the right to get done, then packaged up, and hopefully it ships out pretty quick, no shortages, and we got another happy homeowner. I hope everybody's enjoyed our walkthrough. Um, not sure what we're gonna do next, but we're open to suggestions, so just holler at us and let us know. Thank y'all.